An earthquake hit San Benito County just a few hours ago. The U.S. Geological Survey says a 4.1 magnitude earthquake hit north of Pinnacles National Park. Nearly 200 earthquakes were recorded in Yellowstone National Park in the past two weeks. It is just a hint of what's brewing right here in the U.S. Scientists have long known that Yellowstone National Park sits atop a huge supervolcano. Yellowstone National Park, a serene expanse of natural beauty, has been stirred from its slumber in a most unsettling manner. The ground beneath its tranquil surface has shook with a relentless onslaught of hundreds of earthquakes. This is no mere coincidence, but a serious geological event that has put scientists on high alert. Could these seismic tremors be a precursor to a catastrophic volcanic eruption, an event that experts have long predicted with a sense of foreboding? Join us as we venture into the heart of this geological mystery and uncover what these consistent earthquakes might be signaling. Established on March 1st, 1872 by President Ulysses S. Grant, Yellowstone isn't just the United States' inaugural national park. It holds the distinction of being the world's very first of its kind, stretching over a staggering 2.2 million acres across the states of Wyoming, Montana, and Idaho. This vast wilderness with its geysers, hot springs, and diverse wildlife stands as a universal marvel. From the iconic grizzly bears and elusive wolves to herds of bison and elk, it's a captivating ecosystem teeming with life. Yet, beneath the serene surface, an awe-inspiring revelation often escapes notice. Yellowstone isn't just a park, it's a geological powerhouse. Concealed beneath its tranquil facade lies an immense volcanic caldera, an underground cauldron of potential devastation. This geological titan ranks among the largest active volcanic systems on Earth, featuring famous landmarks like Old Faithful and the Grand Prismatic Spring. Envision a supervolcano, an eruptive force so colossal that it could dwarf regular volcanic eruptions by thousands of times. This grand caldera is, in essence, a monumental crater formed through three super eruptions spanning a staggering 2.1 million years. The first of these cataclysmic eruptions shook the planet 2.1 million years ago, shaping the Huckleberry Ridge tough and crafting a sprawling caldera spanning over 60 miles. Then, 1.3 million years ago, the Island Park Caldera and Mesa Falls Tough emerged in a fiery spectacle, but the grand finale, the most recent major eruption, unfolded around 640,000 years ago, giving birth to the Yellowstone Caldera as we know it today. This eruption was an earth-shattering event, expelling over 240 cubic miles of rock, ash, and volcanic gases into the atmosphere. This global disruption led to a pronounced cooling effect, impacting ecosystems worldwide. Now, imagine an eruption of such monumental proportions that it blankets entire continents in ash, triggering widespread climate disturbances and sending shockwaves through human societies. Cities and farmlands buried under a thick layer of ash, a volcanic winter descending upon the world, and a cascade of chaos unfurling across the globe. What adds an intriguing layer of complexity to this geological narrative is a recent revelation. Not one, but two magma chambers reside beneath this dormant behemoth. The first chamber, unveiled in the 1980s, rests a mere six miles beneath the surface, containing around 10,000 cubic kilometers of molten rock. Venturing even deeper, between 12 and 31 miles beneath the surface lies a second chamber, a colossal chamber four and a half times larger than the former, this remarkable discovery doesn't heighten the probability of an eruption, but unveils the fascinating potential of the shallower chamber to replenish over time, thereby fueling the mesmerizing geothermal spectacles of the park. And now, the recent seismic spectacle that has scientists and observers on the edge of their seats. Envision this. Within just half a day, the northern reaches of Yellowstone Lake were convulsed by a series of tremors that reverberated throughout the park and far beyond. The performance began on March 28th, with what initially appeared to be a minor 0.7 magnitude tremor. Yet, this was merely the prelude to a seismic symphony of epic proportions. In a mere span of 12 hours, over 60 earthquakes, spanning from subtle tremors to unmistakable quakes, shook the scene. Two of these seismic events even surpassed the 3.0 magnitude mark, with the most potent one clocking in at a staggering 3.7 magnitude at 8.24 a.m. Mountain Daylight Time Keep in mind, these seismic theatrics were meticulously monitored by the University of Utah Seismograph Stations and the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory. 
While earthquakes aren't entirely uncommon in Yellowstone, contributing to approximately half of the seismic activity in the Intermountain West region, this recent spectacular display has ignited fervent discussions and heightened concerns. The park is well acquainted with the Earth's subtle vibrations, encountering between 1,000 to 3,000 earthquakes each year. Most of these tremors are so mild that they go unnoticed, but the recent sequence of tremors has sparked widespread curiosity. The mere mention of a potential eruption at Yellowstone National Park is enough to send a chill down anyone's spine who understands the geological might of this region. To begin, such an event would be of an unparalleled magnitude. The immediate vicinity of the park would bear witness to catastrophic devastation. Lava flows, pyroclastic surges, and ashfall would obliterate everything in their path. The breathtaking landscapes, abundant biodiversity, and iconic geysers would all succumb to the fury of the eruption. The toll on human life would be harrowing as well. The park and its surrounding areas attract millions of tourists each year. Towns and communities in close proximity would be at great risk, and organizing evacuations would be an immense challenge. According to a model, the aftermath of a Yellowstone super eruption could impact three quarters of the United States, and a staggering 90% of individuals within a thousand kilometers of the blast could lose their lives. One of the most disconcerting aspects of a Yellowstone eruption would be the extensive ashfall. A major eruption could expel thousands of cubic kilometers of ash into the atmosphere, enveloping vast stretches of North America. Based on one map, Regions as far-reaching as Missouri and Texas could experience ash accumulation exceeding 10 centimeters, while areas closer to Yellowstone might find themselves buried beneath several meters of ash. Furthermore, the colossal amount of volcanic gases and aerosols released into the atmosphere would exert a profound impact on the global climate. Substances like sulfur dioxide could create a veil of aerosols in the stratosphere, reflecting sunlight and triggering a significant cooling of the Earth's surface. One study suggests that a Yellowstone super eruption could potentially lower global temperatures by as much as 12 degrees Celsius for several years. This volcanic winter could disrupt weather patterns, decrease agricultural yields, and lead to food shortages in various parts of the world. In the face of the potential for eruption, the lessons gleaned from past volcanic events should inform our approach to risk management and mitigation. However, the critical question arises, is the supervolcano displaying signs of reawakening, or are these tremors simply nature's way of reminding us of its enduring power and unpredictability? To gain insight into this question, we must delve into the intricate geological makeup of Yellowstone. The park is situated atop a hotspot, a plume of molten rock that rises from the Earth's mantle. This hotspot fuels the park's geothermal phenomena and is accountable for the volcanic activity in the region. It's also one of the few hotspots positioned beneath a continental crust, in contrast to oceanic crust. The recent cluster of earthquakes near the eastern edge of the Yellowstone caldera, close to where the last major eruption occurred, has thrust this geological marvel back into the spotlight, prompting many to ponder if this is a precursor to a more significant event. As scientists continue to delve into the mysteries of Yellowstone, the world holds its collective breath in anticipation of the yet-to-be-disclosed secrets. One potential clue could reside within Yellowstone's vibrant wildlife. From lush forests to sprawling meadows, and from sizzling geysers to icy rivers, the park's diverse landscapes provide sanctuary to an array of plant and animal species. However, a peculiar phenomenon is currently unfolding. Visitors are recounting unusual encounters with wildlife, with particular emphasis on bison. Just weeks ago, a woman fell victim to a bison attack, despite repeated warnings and close calls. Another tragic episode unfolded recently, where a woman's life was tragically claimed on the Buttermilk Trail, eight miles from West Yellowstone. Evidence at the scene pointed to grizzly bear attacks, indicating a fatal encounter with the formidable predator. Until August 25th, the area remains closed for both human and bear safety, while the investigation presses forward. As of yet, the jury remains undecided on whether there's a correlation between wildlife behavior and recent seismic activities. However, some experts speculate that animals might possess a heightened sensitivity to the Earth's movements. After all, these creatures have coexisted harmoniously with this land for millennia. The notion that animals can detect seismic activities before humans is not novel. Documented cases highlight instances where animals exhibited unusual behavior prior to earthquakes, such as dogs barking incessantly or cats withdrawing. In Yellowstone, the connection might be even more profound. The park's geothermal features and seismic activities are ingrained in the natural landscape, and the wildlife has acclimated to these conditions over countless generations. Bison, in particular, share a profound bond with the land. 
They utilize the park's geothermal areas during winter to tap into the warmth, and their migration patterns are influenced by the geological characteristics of the region. Could the recent shifts in animal behavior be a response to changes within the subterranean magma chambers? Could these creatures be reacting to vibrations or chemical alterations in the environment that elude human perception? These are questions that scientists are presently exploring, endeavoring to discern potential correlations between animal conduct and seismic activity. Indeed, the behavior of animals, the flow of rivers, the eruptions of geysers, and the tremors of earthquakes are all interconnected in ways that remain only partially comprehensible. The specter of an earthquake or volcanic eruption within this geologically dynamic region is a matter of utmost concern, prompting authorities to leave no stone unturned in their quest to comprehend, monitor, and mitigate potential risks. A novel monitoring plan for Yellowstone's volcanoes and earthquakes, recently introduced by the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory and other collaborative partners, aspires to enhance monitoring efforts and hazard assessment throughout the region. This comprehensive strategy encompasses thorough descriptions of both existing and planned monitoring systems, with a primary focus on two vital categories, backbone monitoring and hydrothermal monitoring. The backbone monitoring aspect relates to the pre-existing region-wide surveillance network which has long been operational to monitor seismic activities, ground deformations, and other geological phenomena within the expanse of the Yellowstone Plateau region. This intricate network comprises strategically positioned seismometers, GPS stations, and other instruments throughout the park, furnishing real-time data concerning the geological dynamics transpiring beneath the surface. The plan outlines future enhancements for this system over the next decade, thereby fortifying its capacity. Meanwhile, hydrothermal monitoring represents a new facet of this plan, aimed at tracking activities linked to Yellowstone's thermal and geyser basins. This entails the measurement of parameters such as temperature, pressure, and water chemistry within these basins, providing valuable insights into the behavior of the hydrothermal system. Such insights may serve to detect any unusual changes that might serve as indicators of an impending geological event. Collaborative efforts from institutions like the University of Wyoming, alongside scientific agencies such as the U.S. Geological Survey and the National Park Service, underpin these ongoing monitoring endeavors, underscoring the imperative of comprehending and mitigating the geological hazards embedded within the Yellowstone Plateau region. That pretty much wraps this video up, guys. Thanks for watching. So, what are your thoughts about a potential volcanic eruption at Yellowstone? Share with us in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe to this channel with a bell notification if you enjoy watching our content. We upload some awesome stuff here, which you will most certainly enjoy. Hit a like on this video and leave a comment below. See you guys in the next one.